Yeah? Hey, hey everybody, happy Halloween. I made it. It's Halloween in 2020 is a Saturday morning. But whenever you're watching this, it could be another holiday. It could be your birthday, it could be Christmas, it could be um, Martin Luther King Day, it could be, uh, what's another famous, Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a holiday where you can eat lots of good food. Halloween is too because you can put extra egg whites and, and pumpkin pie, and uh, you know, cause there's pumpkins around Halloween, jack-o'-lanterns, and hey, I'm gonna have a workout that has a theme, right? Jack, jack-o'-lantern, burping, <laughs> zombie kicks, oh, you know, things like that. So, let's have some fun, let's work out, it's Halloween, and, and please don't OD on any candy or other imbibe right things okay even though I know that um, you know that that it is a day that kicks off like the forget everything let's eat and you know what eating is great just make sure you balance your blood sugar and if you decide not to then do whatever you're gonna do with much enthusiasm and, and drink lots of water okay <laughs> alright so let's warm up we have a dice game and I have a skull because I did the I'm dressed like a marathoner how'd I do okay yeah yeah I know I also like hats, and um, I am, I did want to, at the end, I'm going to show off something I grew in my garden that's really frightening and very scary, okay? So we're going to do some workout with the dice. We're going to roll the dice, and we're going to see what the universe has in store for us on this sacred holiday of happy Halloween. Halloween actually does come from all sorts of traditions going way back thousands of years. This is the time of year where... It's already cold for some people and they need to kick up and have some fun. So we're gonna use part of what we're doing as warm up. So the first thing we're gonna do is zombie kicks, right? So our arms are straight up and we're gonna kick forward. I know I normally do shoulders, we'll do those too. Kick forward, kick forward, kick forward. Yes, zombies, zombie kick. Yes, there you go, like this. Yep, let's do a few more. We'll do a few more of these too. I'm just gonna kind of randomly throw them Throw them in. All right. I just needed to kick up my heels. Wah! And uh, I think I just tell me if my noise, if my sound's okay, because this is the day, the first day, at least where I am, we had to turn the heat on. And it's a little noisy to me, but it may not be noisy to you. Okay. All right, so we have two cans. Pick your cans. Today you might want to pick two cans of pumpkin or cranberry because we're entering that season, right? And we're going to start right here and we're going to press up 10 times because we do move our arms a lot during the workout, almost any workout. Sometimes I do pure lower body, but because I'm recovered from two very serious shoulder injuries, I like to start with a shoulder warm up. I am Cam Barker, your online personal trainer. Brought to you by my parents, yes. All right. Yes, talk to them, they're doing good. My father's 92 and my mother's 89, so there's gonna be a lot of years ahead of me to help you stay fit and healthy and fit fitness into your life. So you can see I did a press, and then we do go behind the head and roughly about 10 repetitions. Then we come down here and we do a twisting bicep curl. So I can use my scary voice. Twisting bicep curl. Right? Or it could be a voiceover guy, you know. So in the comments, make sure you tell me what are you doing today? How are you staying safe? How are you having fun? Right? Are you watching a scary movie? Usually on Halloween night, I turn off all the lights and I pick the scariest movie I haven't seen yet. And then I just sit there in the dark. And I watch it. And yes, I eat buttered popcorn, fresh baked buttered popcorn, tossed with nutritional yeast. If you've never done that, it's so good. All right. Hey, Gina, what's up, Michelle? All right, so do you see how we're pouring out? We're pouring all the obstacles out, right? Oh, this one I'm pouring it on my body. This is what I tell people to do with soda, you know? I, I'm really not a soda fan at all, though I do like those sparkling waters. But when you have soda, I just want you to pour it on your body instead of in your mouth. Yeah, just pour it out. It's scary what it can do. They use it to clean batteries. They use it to clean blood off of streets. Yeah. All right. 
because of the phosphoric acid in it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Look. Pouring out together. So today we're like pouring the spills into the cauldrons. Yes. Yes. Pouring out anything that stands in your way of taking loving, sweet care of yourself and finding your happiness, right? One of the expressions I use when I do my push-ups is carve your happiness out of chaos. Yes, that happiness is really strong and resilient. You carve it out of chaos. Oh. So we're pouring out all the obstacles to you taking loving, sweet, good care of yourself. All right, now let's celebrate that result, right? The result of fitting fitness in is you feel fit and you feel happier and stronger. Yes, and you smile more, even if it's just because I'm a goofy personal trainer, yes! And when I do goofy jacks, see, just the thought of goofy jacks makes you smile. Yes, and a smile's worth a million, I don't know. <laughs> I think it adds a million seconds to your life or something. That's kind of cool. Woo, smile more. Boom, do another one. Yes, now remember, if, if anything I do is an extreme movement for you and it feels uncomfortable or painful, which is no fun, then just try to adjust and keep moving. And if you don't know how to adjust, then get a hold of me, Cam Parker, your personal trainer, all right, so that I can help you. Because sharp pain, buzzing, tingling, you need to stop, all right? So let's celebrate. Let's get all the obstacles out to you feeling pain, and let's get pain out of your life, all right? Yeah. Good. Okay, right here. We did enough of those. Woo. Yeah, burning can get painful, but burning in general is fine. It's not comfortable but it's it's a sign you're doing the right intensity as long as you can tolerate the burning all right one more boom okay that's the end of the shoulder warm-up keep those close by I, I uh, remember you need a strong chair for today you need uh, gallons of water right because they weigh eight pounds each I did uh, forget that I needed another gallon because I opened one and I drank it all and uh, so I do have a five pound, set of five pound weights for myself today. And let's see, what else is going on? Hmm, if you get buzzing, tingling, pain, knife stabbing pain, please stop what you're doing and call your licensed healthcare professional. Thank you, just wanted to say that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are rolling the dice today and I'm gonna demonstrate. We're gonna do each exercise as a little bit of a warm up. So pay attention and remember, we're not quite warm enough yet. First one, number one, I roll a one. It's burpees. Yeah, I know. See, that's why I picked this. <laughs> All right, for Halloween. All right, so burpee with a chair. Everyone can do these. We're going to do them as warm-ups. You squat down. You put your hands in the butt of the chair. See, that even sounds Halloween-ish and weird, okay? <laughs> on, on the butt, on the butt of the chair, the seat of the chair. You go back into a plank. You step back up. You come big, full sweep up. All right, let's do 10 of those. That's one, two, three. The most important part is when I step back and step up into that squat. Right? And we're going to call that four, five, six, seven. Keep going. Eight, nine, one more. Remember that squat right next to the chair right here. And 10. Good job. And that was enough warm up that I'm really warm. And I'm wondering if my IT, my IT support could turn off the heat for me. All right, here we go. Step back bicep curl. So no weight. And we're just going to do 10. Now when you step back, I want you to, we're not warm enough, so we're just, going to do a soft step back and it's like step back Jack step back from what doesn't serve you like artificial colors and flavors no it doesn't even matter if it's Halloween don't do them ready go just like this okay yes just a nice gentle step back unless it's something really awful like a deep fried burger made with donuts for the buns yeah step back from that Step back, Jack. Just a few more. A few more. All right. Now let's think about push-ups and chair dips. So 
Push-ups are for everybody because you can do them on a countertop, right? Or you just put your hands on your kitchen counter and just pretend I'm right there and I push back like that. And then we're going to marry that to chair dips. And chair dips, I pick chair dips because at a party or even a party one, you can have dip, right? So we're having a Halloween party, workout party this morning. So we're doing chair dips. Woo! Nothing wrong with this. So for a warm up, what I want you to do is just sit on your chair and lift your body off. Right now, if you can hold that nice and strong, right? If you just keep holding it, if you can hold it nice and strong in the shadow of my light, y'all, then you're good to go for trying the dip. So I'm out here, I'm nice and strong, and I'm gonna dip. See that? Dip, right? Keep holding in the top, dip one more time, dip. Yes, very good. So, what's your favorite dip? Mine is that spinach artichoke oh so good so good yes absolutely okay so i'm over here off camera for a second because i'm still an amateur when it comes to lighting i'm not an amateur personal trainer but you would think after 93 co videos i could get the lighting right but i'm still figuring it out okay that's halloween magic w's because there's magic in the air all right so what's a magic w Put your arms up in the extremely awesome position. And then all you do is come down, touch your th elbows and thighs, come up on your toes. If you wanna do that with a chair, same idea. I have a chair behind me. I touch that chair, come up, or I'm in a chair. I don't even come out of the chair. I just, ah, ah, right? Stick my legs out, stick my arms out. Real big stretch, yes. Okay, everybody can do magic W's. Let's do 10, nice and easy. Ready, go. And one, and two, and three, four, five. Why is the W? All of you know that. Six, seven, because it makes the word wow. And if you turn the word wow upside down, you get mom. Do a couple more, one more. Yes, good job. Good job, are you having fun yet? I hope so. All right, now you know everyone that didn't show up for this workout, when you work out, your body's elevated, your metabolism's elevated for the next 24 to 39 hours. That's called an EPOC effect. Excess post-oxygen consumption, exercise, no, post-exercise oxygen consumption, EPOC. So you want that. That's one reason you want two to three sessions every week. Okay, next one is going to call it a cross crawl. Or bicycle crunches but for the warm-up we're gonna do cross crawl you're gonna touch your fingertips to the side of your hands and you twist and you touch twist and you touch okay so let's just do ten of these one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and remember you can do those from the chair as well so if you need the chair that is fine okay as long as you're here and you're working out that's awesome okay all right zombie kicks we already did a few of those arms are up and you kick your leg straight up like this most important part of being a zombie is when you kick your leg up is you don't throw it over like a dance move you just bring it straight up and your arm goes over to your leg versus your leg come to your arm very important for what we do here at the Co Video Workout Series. Boom, boom, just kick it up, kick it up, kick it up, kick it up, yep, kick it up, kick it up, kick it up. Now we're working out, yeah, it feels like a workout. And then if we get doubles, we're gonna do scissor jacks. So this is the starting position for scissor jacket. I'm a little bit of Edward Scissor Hands. That's who I'm thinking about with scissor jacks, right? Remember that film? Totally cool. All right, here we go, like this, one of those early Johnny Depp films. And then we can either step back and switch, or we can jump and scissor jack it, like this. So let's do four of these, two, three, and four. And then there's Happy Jacks, the juxtaposition of horror and happiness. Ready, go. Happy Jack, Woo. three, four, let's do some more. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Good job. Okay, that was your workout. I'll see you later. Come No, I'm just kidding. Let's go. Let's roll. Roll. You got your water nearby. You got everything you need. Ready. First is number. It's going to be Magic W's. Let's do four of them. Here we go. Arms are up. Ready. Go. And one. And two. And three. And four. Yes. All right. We are rolling. We are working out. We're ready to move our body. Zombie kicks. 11 of them. Ready. Go. One. Now, what I notice about zombie kicks is people drop their arms. Four. Don't drop your arms. Five. Six. Keep those arms up. Six. And up. Seven. And that's eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Yes. I can count. Really, I can. I've been practicing. Okay. Burpees. I knew it. The universe is going to be like, this is going to be a burpee workout. Now, remember, the chair, if everyone can do burpees, just like everyone can do push-ups. Now, I'm going to do it without the chair to the floor. And so I squat down. We're going to do nine of these. Do them to the chair if you need to. And we squat, squat down. You squat to the chair, thrust back, come back up, and one. Okay? But you can also step back. Here we go. Let's do it. This is two. I'm stepping back. And three. And four. You can do it. Five. Be strong. Think strong. And six. And seven. And eight. Almost there. One more. And nine. Good. So step back on the floor is another way to do it. You got the chair burpees. I want everyone to feel successful. What are we doing next? I don't know, Cam. What are we doing next? We're doing zombie kicks. Seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Remember, the whole point of the dice and the cards is pacing is quick. And dice tend to be faster than the cards. Probably because of my brain. Number six. That's a zombie kick. Let's do eight of those. Ready? And it is doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight scissor jacks. All right, setting up because I rolled doubles. Here we go, eight of them. Remember, you can step them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight happy jacks. Remember to keep your feet parallel to the ground. Ready to go? One, two, three. You gotta smile too. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. It's a great number too. Love the number eight. Okay, we're doing magic W's. Let's do four of them. All right. You're in the extremely awesome position. Everybody say, I am extremely awesome. Because you are. I promise you. I can prove it. Here we go. And we're doing four. One. Come up on your toes. Two. Three. One more. And four. It's a Saturday morning. Mmm. Does that mean a pumpkin latte might be in my future because it's Halloween? I don't know. All right. Let's do it again. Magic W's. And they're doubles. It's a ten reps. Ready. Go. Down and up. One. And two. And three. And four. You're alive. Six, seven. Remember, you can do this from a chair. Eight. Squeeze those glutes. Nine. One more. Ten. Yay. Okay, scissor jacks. You ready? Remember, you can step them back. I'm going to jump them this time. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chin up. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten happy jacks. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, water break. Why am I stopping for a water break? Well, one, because I need water. Two, because I want to talk about being out of breath. It's okay to be out of breath. And in fact, if you are pushing and you're out of breath, you get human growth hormone. Whoa. And human growth hormone is a lipotropic hormone, which means it burns fat, builds muscle, and puts you in a good mood. 
So one reason that people don't enjoy exercise is because they never push hard enough to get the type of hormones they need, or they push too hard, don't marry that to water, exercise, and food, and then they feel terrible after they work out, you see? So, so it doesn't reinforce that good feeling. Now, you don't have to like exercise for it to work. That's one of the beauties of it. But you do have to exercise with the science of mind, and that's what I'm here for. Okay, break's over. What's next? <laughs> See, I'm making you smarter, too. Right? And I want you to pass the word. Pass the word to people you love and care about. Say, you have to work out. You will be easier to be with. Oh, did I say that out loud? Okay, all right. Number three, push-ups and chair dips. Why are we having dips? Because it's a party. Okay, so push-ups. How are you going to do them? I have a bookcase right here that's very strong. It's very sturdy. It's, it's a little bit lower than a kitchen counter, so I could do push-ups right here as long as I have room for my head. I don't have a lot of stuff piled up that I'm going to knock over. I can do push-ups modified on the ground. I don't recommend that for getting stronger, but there, it's there as a backup if you start on the ground on your toes. So I'm going to start on the ground on my toes, and we're going to do 12 push-ups. So it's okay. However you need to do them, you do them. You ready? Get set up. All right, how are you going to do them? You can do them on two chairs, but not one chair, because one chair is hard, okay? Two may be too hard. Here we go. 12 push-ups. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Excellent. Good. So where modified, which a lot of people are familiar with modified, comes in, is when you're doing a push-up and you feel like, well, I'm, I'm running out of juice, so what do I do? Well, then you modify in the moment, okay? So let's do zombie kicks. No, scissor jacks. Scissor jacks. Here we go, like this. Arms are up and back. Very important, we're, we're working on those shoulder blade muscles. A lot of bang for your buck. Here we go, 12 of them. Step back or jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, oh yeah, 11, one more, 12. 12 happy jacks, ready to go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh yeah, eleven and twelve. Boom, boom, boom. That feels good. Oh, how's your week been going? My week's been going good. I've been working hard. All right, sending the love out to all the people. All right, we're doing cross, cross, or bicycle crunches. So I really like the cross crawl movement where my fingertips are right here because it can be also be done from a chair, right? I think I'll do it from the chair so everyone can see it. But you can do it standing, I'm here. Here we go, we're gonna do four of these. One, two, squeezing my abs, three, and four. Now I have doubles, so I gotta do four scissor jacks. Here we go, I'm gonna jump them, one, two, three, and four. And technically your arm, if your right arm's up, your left arm's back, I mean your left, yeah, and your left leg is back. But it doesn't matter, you can mix it up. Okay, happy jacks, four of those. Ready, go. One, two, three, and four. All right, nice, nice. Here's those dicey, here's the dice, so you know my setup. If you buy the Tenzi, Tenzi game, it's 10 dice of four different colors. Very handy, great game, by the way. All right, Magic W, seven of those. Lucky number seven. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, keep going. Six, one more, and seven. Crowd goes wild, can you hear them? Yeah, all right. Okay, this is one game that's not a spectator sport, right? Exercise, you've got to participate. Okay, we're doing push-ups, how many? Seven. And as I said, some people want to do them in the chair, 
The reason that's tough is because your hands are so close. So two chairs would work as long as they can't slide or and you can't get hurt, okay? So be careful. Be, choose your exercise equipment with safety in mind. Okay, push up, seven of those. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. All right, chair dip. I think I forgot the dip. Don't you hate when somebody's supposed to bring the dip and they forget it? Well, I know that's in the before times, but it's all good. It's all good. Okay, so chair dip. If you're still working on your strength to just hold and lock your arms, then just hold it for the timing of me dipping. So we're gonna dip seven times. Here we go, we're up. One, you need it stronger, tougher, straighten your legs. Two, three, four, five, six, almost there, seven. Very good, awesomeness. Okay, here we go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Yes, this is bicycle or cross crawls. So, I'm gonna do a standing cross crawl. You can go to the floor, do bicycle crunches. We're gonna do 12 of these. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Very good. It is doubles, that means scissor jacks. Here we go, setting up. Remember you can step or jump. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Edward scissors hands. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, one more, 12. All right, that movie's all about being different. Scissors for hands, if you've never seen it. It's worth seeing for sure. Happy Jacks! Does Edward get happy? Who knows? Ready, go. One, two, lots of jacks. Jack o' lanterns. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Very good. Look at you working out. So proud of you. So glad you're here. Another thing about being out of breath is if it's if you really struggle, that may mean you're not doing enough cardio or your cardio isn't strenuous enough. So I'll post up in the comments a link to my video on how to do cardio to get the most out of it for f making your heart more fit, getting human growth hormone, and burning fat for an extended period of time. Yes, okay. So number four, that's magic W's, you ready? Arms are up, hands are spread, spirit hands. And we're doing seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I think I think if I was, you know, like one of those really technically savvy people, I'd have like a sound effects where the crowd just goes crazy when we're done with the thing. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll get rich and famous and hire someone like that. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. So in our minds, we're going to have to use our vivid imagination. Raw! The roar of our ancestors. Raw! Just clapping and applauding and celebrating our life. All right. Step back bicep curls. First time we've done these. I have five pound weights like that. You can use the cans. You can use your gallons of water. You can use one gallon of water, which would equal four pounds in each hand. Right? So let me show that on this round in case you didn't know that idea. So I hang it down like this, and I step back in my bicep curl. Step back, Jack. One, two, going to eight, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, and eight. Very good. And so that the whole idea is that over time, you do want to safely move up in your weights if you have the weights available. And I have done all of these co-videos with the idea that maybe the person working out doesn't have access. So we're going to be talking about ideas on how to increase the weights once we hit more. And I'll do that more so as we hit co-video 100. We have seven to go. Boom. All right. Let's do push-ups and chair dips. <laughs> That's the best dip there is, right? 
So 11 push-ups. Where are you going to do them? Go to the kitchen. Everybody can do them on that countertop. Not on the countertop, but leaning against the countertop. Okay, very important distinction there. You ready? Take a deep breath. <sighs> Say those three important words. I am strong. And there's three other ones too. I love me. Very good. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, 11. Push-ups, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Nice. Bravo, bravo. Okay, can't forget the dip. Come on, here we go. Remember, it's okay just to bring your body off the chair and lock your arms and hold that position. That will strengthen the muscles that we're targeting, which are mostly your triceps, a little bit of shoulders, internal shoulders. Okay, we're going for 11 dips. Do the best you can. You don't have to go deep into the dip, but if you can, here we go. One, two, keep your back near the chair. Three, four, five, six, go all the way up. Seven every time. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Those are hard. Bravo. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Okay, here we go. All right, we are doing some step back bicep curls. All right, I'm gonna grab, I liked using the one gallon of water. Let's do it again, and you can use two, right? Remember, you're stepping back from things in your life that you don't wanna be close to. Only gotta do three. One, two, and three. And you may even notice that those are a balance and coordination thing. All right. Here we go. Magic W's. Six of those. Here we go. One, two, wow, three, four, five, six. That was a rolling of doubles, so we're scissor jacking. Ready? Six of these. One, two, three. Four, get those arms up. Five, get your chin up. Six, happy jacks. Six of those, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yay! Good job, good job. All right. Push-ups, only three. Only three, AC Doocy. I love that game. Do you play AC Doocy? Everybody has different roles all over the world. All right, three push-ups, here we go. Run to the kitchen, do where you're gonna do them, ready, go. One, two, three. Remember the dip. Here's the dip. Three of these. One, two, all the way up, three. Very good, very good, very good. All right, what's next? What's next? How about a drink of water? Okay, I like that idea. Here we go. Now remember, I tend to shorten the dice and the card game. We did have an extended warm up because the better you warm up, the less likely you are to get hurt. And we have seven minutes left of rolling the dice. Okay, here we go. Magic W, six of those. Arms are up, fingers are spread apart. It's like a sumo, you come down, don't lean forward. One, two, Three, four, five, and six. Excellent, excellent. Oh yeah, burpees. Oh, see, the universe has been kind to us. That's the only second time I've had burpees. And it's only five burpees. So how are you gonna do them? You can go all the way to the floor. You can do push-ups if you want to, or you can do the ones to the chair. All right, I'm gonna use the floor. Here we go, five of them. Ready, go. And one, and two, and three, and four, one more, and five. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I was so happy when I figured out how anybody, beginners, seniors, can do burpees, and they can watch themselves advance over time. I'm 
so happy for you for being here. All right, we're going to do the cross crawls, right? And remember, if you'd rather get that full bicep on, just go to the ground. Same idea. I'm touching the sides of my head. I'm going to pick up a knee and cross over to it. Seven of these. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Very good. Very good. Okay. Do another one. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Push ups. 11. 11 push ups. You got this. Come on now. I know you can do this. All right. Here we go. Practice strength. Practice your focus. 11 push ups. Go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. Eleven. Very good. Remember the dip. What's your favorite dip? Dip. Oh, so good. All right, here we go. Butts out, off the chair. Eleven. One. Remember, you can just practice holding this. Two. Three, you can make it by harder by straightening your legs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh yeah, ten. One more. Eleven. Okay, that was tough. Oh, this is a great use for the chair. You know, just sitting in the chair. All right, we're up. We're up. We're up. All right, here we go. Okay. Choo. Zombie kicks, whoa! Okay, arms are up, and we're doing five. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Nothing to it, nothing to it, but it's such an important exercise, getting that leg full up with the, le the knees just soft, stretching that hamstring, using that hip flexor. All right, let's do some more. See, the universe heard me, they're so good for you. Arms straight up, right? And notice I'm coming down opposite, and I, then I go up. So notice if, if you can't get your arms to act independently. That's a brain thing, and that's one of the things we're working on. Arms straight up. Nine, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very good. All right. Whoa. Oh, drop the dice, drop the dice. Woo, number. Okay, we're doing push ups. All right, push ups and dips. Roll doubles into 12. <sighs> okay, say those three words. I am strong. 12. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Five. Stay strong. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, keep going. Eleven, one more. Twelve. All right, fantastic. The dips, the dips. Woo, got to breathe into those triceps right now. Come on. All right, sitting up tall, strong, sturdy wooden chair. All right, butts off the chair, holding if you have to, dipping if you can. Ready, go. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got this. Come on. Ten, eleven, one more. Twelve. Woo! Oh, and I rolled double, so we got to do scissor, scissor kicks, like Edward Scissor hands, right? Let's do I'll face you this time. So notice how my arms are really straight, and then I'm going to switch them. So one, remember you can step this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Good. And twelve happy jacks. Right? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, yay, 
All right. We got time for we don't know. It's about another minute and a half here. Right? How many times are we going to get to roll? What does the universe want us to do next? Here we go. Step back biceps. And it's just seven. Lucky number seven. I'm going to use my one gallon. You could use two gallons, or if you have dumbbells, go as heavy as you can to do seven reps safely. Ready, go. Step back. One. You create a sudden step back. Two. You know, look at your surroundings. Three and four. And analyze what you're going to do. Five. One more. Six. And seven. Good job. Good job. All right. We got a minute left. What's it going to be? Woo. Magic W's. Five of these. Here we go. And one. And two. And three. Wow, you're awesome. Four. And five. Good. We got time for one more roll. Let's do it. Let's do it. One more roll. Burpees. Yes. <laughs> four. It's only four of them. Okay. It's okay. Don't moan and cry. Just do them. Let's get them done. All right. I'm going to do a full burpee. That means I'm going to get down to the ground and plank and do a push up and then thrust up and jump back up. But you can just do chair. Do what's right for you. Keep yourself safe. Have fun. Four burpees to finish. Ready to go. One. You can do this. Come on. Two. Have fun. Three. Who knew burpees could be fun? Nobody. And four. Yay. The crowd goes wild. You just did that. I'm so proud of you. Please share this video. This is a, I think this is a crazy fun way to work out with dice. You don't know what's coming. Though we did safely review all the exercises and give safe ways to do it. Share it with people you know need to be working out right now. You know they need to exercise and they're not doing it. And I hope as a certified personal trainer with over 30 years experience that I can help beginners and seniors, people without confidence, build their confidence and build their body strength. And with that, they build up their happiness, their mental stamina, lots of bang for your buck. Okay. And it's just free. If you want to support me, patreon.com slash Parker. All right, let's cool down. I want to do this right here. Woo! Celebration. Yeah, I love that word. And that song. Yeah, that song's a great party song. You can have your own private party by just putting on Earth, Wind, and Fire, Celebration. And Holiday by Madonna. Yep, yep, show my age, absolutely. Oh, just like this. Just let your heart rate come down. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Do that again. <sighs> yes, you're going to have a great day. You're just, you know, why? Because you're going to make up your mind to have a great day. You know, you're going to connect with friends and family and keep, stay safe out there and just really share a laugh at, or, or two or three, you know. Bring this arm across. Press it against your body. You should feel this across your shoulders. We did a lot of jacks, which is that full arm swing. So we're just going to stretch it a little bit right here. All right, and then the other side. And we actually, I thought the universe was kind of having fun making us do a lot of chair dips. All right, chair dips and push-ups. So we want to stretch those triceps as well. So the way to stretch those, bring an arm up, so the elbow's up, and then you're going to push that elbow back even further. And then what I learned over time is you got to look up, and then you really feel it right through the tricep into the armpit, which is where the lat inserts here. All right, and you might even feel it in your belly. All right, so we're gonna push that other elbow back. We're gonna look up, look up. Awesome. All right, and down, woo. All right, you ready to breathe with me? We're gonna get our day started. Well, you already got it started, but you're gonna get your day. You're gonna move on to the next thing. But what's the most important thing to do within the next 30 minutes, if you haven't done it already, is to eat. Eat a protein, high protein focused, fiber focused meal. And if you did eat breakfast, like I don't know, an hour or two hours ago, then a protein shake within 30 minutes makes a big difference to how your body responds to this workout. Okay, so we're gonna take a deep breath in. You ready? Okay, here we go. So 
this comes from a friend of mine who's my one of my guardian angels. It's a Qigong movement. We're going to breathe in love. You're going to raise your shoulders. And when you let your shoulders drop, make a little noise. Just something like a, ah. Okay, here we go. Let's do it again. Ah. And as I always say, you're breathing in love for yourself and you're exhaling the love for everyone else. Why? Because love is contagious. Do it again. <sighs> All right. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I know it was a little crazy in the beginning, but we won't talk about caffeine or Halloween or anything like that. I love you. I'll see you in a couple, couple days.